here likes fish? All right, you're not the only ones because one fifth of the world's population is actually dependent on fish as their primary source of protein. However, however, <laughs> currently one out of five fish that's being caught is the wrong fish in that they're either too juvenile, they're endangered, or they're just fish that cannot be sold. This is a detriment in terms of the environment where it's equating to a loss of 27 million tons of fish per year, which is terrible for endangered species and the biodiversity. In terms of the fishing industry, this has a massive effect. In fact, there's new legislation that doesn't allow the discard of fish, so 20% of a vessel is being wasted, which equates to a loss of half a million pounds in revenue per vessel per year. And this is also not helping in terms of food security with our growing population and the increase in demand in protein. Now, let's imagine a world where we are catching the right fish at all the time, we're protecting endangered species, we're sustaining the livelihoods of fishermen and their economies, and also ensuring food security. At Safety Net, we're trying to make this vision a reality. We know that the way to do this is to make fishing smarter. And we're doing this with the products that we're developing. Our products are attached to fishing nets and allow and empower fishermen to make their nets catch only the right fish. No juvenile species, no endangered species. Effectively, the fishermen can program their nets to catch what they want, when they want. And how does this work? Well, it's all about light. Let me explain. Imagine this half of the room is haddock, and you love green light. This half of the room is cod, and you hate green light. Now, if I shine a green light at all of you, maybe like that over there, how do you feel? Well, it turns out fish feel the same way. You can use different wavelengths of light or colors of light to affect attract or repel different species of fish. And that's the mechanism we're using to increase fish selectivity when fishing. This may sound like science fiction, but it's not. It's an active area of research all around the world. And we at SafetyNet are working with many leading academic researchers and industry bodies in the area. In terms of commerciability, we are targeting the global industrial fleet market, which represents 8.11 billion pounds. So of this, this is representing 64,000 large commercial vessels. However, 1.38 billion pounds of this is actually being lost to these discards right now. So by starting out by targeting the initial 10%, we can see exponential growth year on year. And how can we do this? We have a market-ready product. This is our first product. It's called Pisces. I didn't have time to turn it on whilst we were running up here. Um, it's a light emitting device. 20 of these are given to fishermen to attach on their nets. It has a very simple clip system that can be operated with heavy gloves. And you can calibrate this to emit any wavelength of light, depending on what fish species you wish to repel or which species you want to attract into your net. All the time, the fishermen are only catching the species they want to catch. No in juvenile species, no endangered species. This is the vision for smart fishing that we know Safety Net can bring about. So this is a picture of an academic trial that was done off the coast of Oregon that reduced 90% of bycatch. This is technology has been proven and we can do this. So not only are we increasing fishermen's revenues by 20%, but that we also allow them to comply by all regulations. So with safety net technologies, we know that this is a very pressing problem, but we have the technology to solve it. But we know it's a race against time. Help us get there faster. Let's make fishing brighter. <laughs>